Um, you know, this time of year, I think the the real end of the season where you're starting to move toward postseason play and everybody is getting fatigued and you're have competed against great teams. I mean, really have to stay together and you have to compete for each other. And and against UCF, I, I just, for the first time, felt like we had a little bit of um, resistance and fatigue uh, to doing what it takes to win. And I think our guys are playing hard and uh, we're excited about where we're going, but missing chance and Warren playing limited minutes and not being able to really go, I know it, it took some time for us to find a rhythm in the game and fatigue set in by the time we got to the end and I thought UCF really took it to us uh, in some crucial moments. But I'm excited about uh, tomorrow night, really thrilled uh, to be back in the USA. And man, our students are camping out. What a, what a great time to be in Lubbock and at Texas Tech. Which first of all, do you all expect to have everybody back for this game? Uh, at this point, it's hard to tell, honestly. Um, and and I don't, I'm really not trying to trick anybody. I'm just telling you the truth. I mean, Warren and Chance have been around practices. Warren had practiced twice going into the UCF game. We felt like he was going to be able to go. He got out there. It was more difficult than he thought. Uh, Chance, we thought at shoot around he was going to play in the game and then we got to warm ups at the game and he didn't feel like he could go uh so both of them were out there on the court today uh but we'll we'll have to see tomorrow when we get there and see how they look but everybody else i anticipate being able to play in the uh, first time around against texas the um he wasn't as big of a part of their team but i think it was the very next game after they played y'all he comes into the starting lineup and immediately drops 30, you know, what have you seen from him? Because he's basically been their go-to guy since then. Yeah, I mean, what a tremendous player. He's competitive, he can score, he's a mismatch problem. When they put him uh, on the perimeter, you know, he makes threes and then they put him in, in around the basket and he makes difficult sh contested shots, not just, I mean, he's a, he's a great offensive player. He's got a good feel for the game. And, you know, the more he's involved in the offense, the more difficult it is to defend uh, them, just who's just been, he's been tremendous in Big 12 play. And he's another one of the guys that has length and can block shots. I know against, after UCF, you said um, you can't deter away from that length. You got to go right at him. Yeah. Is that going to be more the same against another athletic team like Texas? Yeah, I actually thought we did a, a decent job of that against UCF. I mean, we, I, you know, we, we drew some fouls. Uh, Rob drew a couple of fouls. Uh, D5 drew a couple of fouls. And for the most part, we got good shots um, against them. We had a few panic plays and a few turnovers that led to baskets that were pretty catastrophic in crucial parts of the game. But our ability, I, I thought, to handle the shot blocking against UCF was better, and we're going to have to continue to be better against Texas. I know you don't like talking about your projection of where the season can kind of go, <laughs> but you, you kind of have an idea of where things are kind of going right now. Do you think it's kind of important to get that second or third wind of – energy and yeah. aggressiveness going into this last stretch of the regular season and then the postseason. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, you can feel it with our team. And we're kind of getting to that point where we're competing, but we're not, we're not at our best, you know. And that ramp up toward postseason play and to be at your best every night I mean, you know, we're going to play in the Big 12 tournament. We know that's coming. That's a guarantee. You get a game in the tournament, whether you win or not, and whether you advance is largely dependent on how the amount of belief and fight you have when you get to that game, you know, and everybody's going to muster up something for that game. But I do sense that our team is, you know, trying to play through some pretty difficult times physically and the shoulder of the season with the limited amount of guys we're playing, you can kind of feel the toll on them. And so I think the fight that it takes to win is really important to me, really important. And I think that's the edge that we got to get back to um, where everybody feels connected to winning. Everybody, up and down the roster. Every person can impact winning, and that's really important moving forward. And playing at home really helps with that. And I do think there's a different energy in this that we need and thankful to be here uh, tomorrow. 
Coach, kind of back on Warren, did you get the sense that he re-aggravated anything, or was it just the case that he just couldn't handle playing extended minutes against UCF? Yeah, good question. Uh, when Warren got in the game at first, I, he was moving, and it's measured. And in practice, you know, you can measure it a little bit more. In the game, because of who you're playing against, he had a few sudden movements that I could tell he just stopped playing. You know, you, it was it was a sharp enough pain where he, I looked at him, and I was like, hey, he's, he's this isn't working. Like, he hoped, like we hoped. And so um, I don't think it was re-aggravated as much as it was just different movements that caught him off guard maybe and made him uh, try to figure out, can I do this? And I do think there's a level of pain that we're going to have to play through moving forward, but trying to figure out where we're at with that and at what point do we go all in is still to be determined. I guess, would you say that this injury has been a little bit more severe than you th initially thought it was? No, I think like anything, you don't ever know until you get through rehab and you start improving and you see where it is. And I, I just, I, honestly, it's even hard for me to say. You know, I think he's at a point where he's going to give give it a try and keep improving and we'll just keep uh, evaluating it day in and day out and see if we can get better. Last time you found some success against their bigs against Texas back in January, I guess. If Warren's unable to go and you're looking towards Rob and EY and all those guys, I guess, how do you get that same kind of success, especially with Dazoo's new found resurgence in the lineup? Yeah, I mean, I think like anything, there's different areas that we have strengths, and our strength is our togetherness and our ability to share the ball. When we're at our best, everybody's touching the basketball and everybody's making the right play. Honestly, it's not a one. I mean, you go look up and down our roster, and our best moments are there's a different guy that steps up and plays well. And the more we share it and the more we can involve everybody, the better we play. And... And then you kind of find that rhythm of a guy that may be playing great, and then you can go to it. And at this point in the season, you know, we just got to continue to get better at sharing the basketball and making the right play and taking the right shots and trust that our work will allow us to make them when it matters. And I do believe in this group. I really do. Every time we get to a point in the season where it gets difficult, we, found a, we find another gear to, to make each other better. And I do think that we have that in us and excited for Tuesday because I think that's what we'll do. Coach, how do you evaluate this team from the beginning of the year to now and the growth that they've had even through the struggles they've had this year? Uh, I mean, honestly, I'm just trying to evaluate where we are today and not try to figure out where we've been or where we're even going past tomorrow. I mean, like, I think the key to this team and what we're doing is how do we practice and prepare today that gives us the best chance to improve. And our guys love being in the gym. They work out all the time. They really care about this. And and our physicality and our ability to rebound has improved. I mean, even in the last game against UCF, we had some pretty – uh, important moments where we didn't rebound, but for a majority of the game, we actually were competitive on the glass. And so I, I can see ourselves improving in those areas, uh, but we've got to continue to make strides in the physicality area. That's going to be the, the big emphasis is how can we be more physical defensively and how can we be more physical uh, rebounding the basketball. With this being the last home game versus Texas for potentially a, a long while, what is your what is your thoughts on the current court storming? You know, people being against it. You know, you've always led the the, the uh, Raider riot out onto the court after a Tech win. What is your thoughts on court storming and uh, the potential uh, after a, a win may be on Tuesday? Yeah, well, the the thing I love about being here at Texas Tech and the Red Raiders, and we haven't court stormed one game since we've been here. I mean, we've, we've, we've beaten some pretty good teams here. And I go into the student section because I want them to be a part of this. And then we let the team exit the court and we let them walk off and their whole staff gets off. And, you know, and, and I think our people do an awesome job. I mean, they keep everybody from getting on the court. Our students are respectful and our and, and then when it ends, we, we have all the students come join the team and do the fight song. It's awesome. So, to me, uh, I don't think we have a problem with it here and excited about continuing to win and have the best home court in college basketball. Along with the best home court, uh, as, you've, as you stated earlier, obviously the crowd has been 
camping out upwards nearly to about a week uh, to, 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 to be able to get ready for tomorrow night. Does that, how, how does that really fuel these players, even off of tough road loss? I mean, they've been camping out since before then. And be able to come back home and still see the fight from the fans back behind you guys 100%. Yeah, no, our students are amazing. Raider Riot has, we've had a lot of students, and what people don't know, we've had students travel to almost all the away games. I mean, that's what, and we've got a group that they're passionate about this, and they love being a Red Raider, and they love our basketball team. They love all the athletics here, but they just love being a part of winning, and it's a blast to see that. And then I, I, I did see uh, a few clips earlier with just the – that's why you love college. I'm like, why? this is what makes it awesome. This is what you want to be a part of. And I, there's, a, there's a different edge, as we know, to play in Texas, especially with the way that uh, with them going to the SEC and, you know, you don't know when you'll get another opportunity. And who knows? You just you don't try to figure that out. That's not my job. But I do think that there's a deep sense of appreciation for the rivalry, for the opportunity to compete. And tomorrow night and our students love any kind of excitement that has to do with winning and beating people and especially um, playing against Texas. So uh, it's cool to see and we're excited to go out there and hang out with them later on today too. We're gonna bring them some pizza and, and uh, I mean, being a, part of a, being a part of college basketball and being a student at Tech, winning's a big part of it and our students love to win. Last time down in Austin, Pop led the way with 21. Obviously, he's, no doubt he's hit quite the cold spell as of late. Have you seen any like unwavering in his confidence at all? And if there is, how do you, how do you get that back just to keep putting up shots? Yeah, uh, the, you, you rely on your work habits and you wor rely on anytime you're not playing as well as you want to. There's no tricks to this, none. It's competitiveness and your competitiveness to get better and how you stay diligent in your work. And man, nobody works harder than these guys. I mean, our guys are in the gym constantly working on their game. So that's how you, that's how you build confidence is work on your game and make the right play and share the ball. I mean, I think w when you try to will it in or you try to create it yourself, it makes it difficult. And the more difficult shots you take, the more difficult they are to make. And so I think the more you rely on each other and the more you create opportunities for each other and the more you shoot the right shots, the better, the better chance you have of making them. So I think that's just our focus. Two things. One, continue to work. Don't ever stop working. Working is what allows you to be successful. And two, create the right opportunities. And when the right opportunities come, it's not a miss or make game. It's shoot it with confidence and we'll find a way to win, whether it's an offensive rebound, because the right shots usually open up offensive rebounds if you miss them. And so that's what we're just really focusing on is let's take the right ones and let's keep making the right play. And our guys are doing that. I'm excited about where we're headed. Coach, what are the biggest areas you guys have improved in since that first meeting with Texas, and how can those help you out tomorrow night? Well, I think the biggest thing that we continue to get better at is finding a defensive identity that we can really hang our hat on. I mean, we went through a stretch there. We were doing a lot of different things to try to figure out what fits our team the best. And we've settled in, and we've kind of made some incremental improvements. And if we cannot turn the ball over that leads to layups, that helps your defense. And so, you know, we, we went through some different stretches with different people, and I think now we're finding ways to include a lot of guys on the roster in the game and find their strengths and be able to do those over the course of the game. And then our defensive identity, I think we're getting more solid and we're finding a way to keep people from doing what they do best. And, and uh, those are probably two of the biggest areas. Thank you all.